Okay, so can the courts order no contact? The answer is yes. Does it happen very often? The answer is not very often. Uh, it's worth pointing out that contact is often not called contact these days, very often. Uh, more uh, spends time with, but you know, tomato, tomato, it means the same thing. It's also worth remembering that contacts can mean direct contact, uh, so time with the children. It can also mean indirect contacts, and that can be anything down to being able to send the children a Christmas card once a year. So, yeah, if you're watching this because you want no contact for your ex ever, there's a good chance you're probably going to be disappointed. Uh, that's not to say that the courts are going to give your ex contact no matter what. Uh, but your ex has got to screw up pretty badly. And if they're making serious efforts to work with the court, chances are there is going to be contact. I mean, I know people that have had orders for no contact, no direct contact. No indirect contact is actually rare. Uh, I can think of one particular example where someone was ordered to do a drugs test and they refused. Uh, someone who ordered the drug, was ordered to do a drugs test and they cut off all their hair or... Uh, bleached their hair or did something to try and frustrate that and the court said we're not going to order direct contact until uh, we know the answer to the drugs test so you know trying to get around it doesn't work i also know someone that was ordered uh, contact was going to take place in a contact center for a while uh, before unsupervised contact took place and they refused on the principle that it was unfair that they should be able to have to see their children in the, in the contact center so they refused and the court just said that's fine there'll just be no contact direct contact until you do that there are people that have no contact. The thing is, you know, it kind of finds its own level here. If your ex is a uh, really horrible person who's inconsistent with the children and you said they pref they need consistency and your ex can't commit to that or your ex is in prison or your ex has basically done something, you know, extreme physical violence, sexual violence, that sort of stuff, they're probably not going to get contact. But it's very rare otherwise. There is no presumption of contact in law, by the way. When people talk about their right to see their kids you've got no right to see your kids that's gender neutral that's same mummers and dads that said the court are keen for children to have a relationship with their both their mum and dad and for all the people saying that courts allow contact under any circumstance no they don't they don't it's something that people say i, I get two crowds of people on here the people that say that they've stopped from having contact with their with their children for no reason and the people that will say that there's contact at any cost read these comments that come below you're probably going to see both you're probably going to have people telling me how i'm uh, advocating putting children at risk and um, other people saying i'm advocating that parents get cut off from their kids it's a bit more complicated than that but yeah there is such a thing as no contact if you ask for it for your ex better come up with a solution because if you say something along the lines of i want no contact for the kids with their ex, with my ex at any point ever probably not going to go very well because yeah, like I said, the court thinks that children should have contact with their parents where safe. So if your solution is no contact ever, you better have a pretty damn good reason for doing so. And just because your ex is unreliable uh, or your ex has done stuff in the past that they're trying to address is not going to be the answer. And you're probably going to be very disappointed and posting on here about how the courts didn't listen to you and your children. Hope this helps.